she ain't got no money in the bank. is going on guys jack here and i am back with episode 11 of my fc shalka career mode before we get into this video if you could hit over 15 likes that would be absolutely perfect i would very much appreciate it. it does help the channel grow without further ado we do get ready for our game against stuttgart in the lead who are actually in a relegation battle they are struggling pretty much in this league they need a win they really do uh, they've been very poor as for us we're probably on the form of our life in recent years uh, the team have really turned themselves around and we look like a very good side. But Stuttgart have made some good signings. Dai and Bradley in midfield are a very solid centre defence mid midfield pairing. In Sura at the back is good. And even this guy, Ginzek, up front is not bad along with, uh, I believe it's Kolosic or Kosic. Kostic at the, uh, at, on the left hand side. Does actually test Farnham there, but great save from him to be on his toes. And it would be all Stuttgart, it would seem. At the start, how this gives the ball away to Insua. Left back gets his shot away, but unfortunately is off target. It'd be our turn to attack now. Johannes Geis, who has been one of our standout performers this season. His free kick comes very close to finding the back of the net, but unfortunately couldn't get it on target on that occasion. But the team have been performing very well, in all honesty. Kakara is coming at right back, and obviously he'll have a lengthy stay into the first team. Obviously, with the uh, injury of uh, Kenny Tete last episode for three months. Major blow for us. He could be out for the rest of the season. We'd be very lucky to see him uh, by the end of it. As we get a real chance for Leon Grzeska here. Look to find the back of the net, but unfortunately does go wide and mark. And I do believe it was ruled for offside or something like that. But it was going at half time here. Four shots to their one. We're looking very good. Um, you know... They've had a lot of opportunities, but we have uh, ushered them out of play. But again, they go have a, a chance here. The ball comes in. Kostic wins the header, but Farnham holds on very well there. We'd look to break away, but Dai does uh, stop that in its tracks here. The Stuttgart man comes forward, puts a brilliant cross into Kostic again, who headers just over the bar. That's poor from him on that um, that occasion. As uh, Julian Vigel and Hoiberg come on in the middle. Uh, we only made two substitutions because purely because we've got fixture congestion coming out of our ears at the moment. So we need to definitely make sure uh, we keep players well rested. We don't want to be dropping easy points anywhere. We need to make sure the team is in tip-top condition. As Batshuayi gets onto the ball here, gets his shot away. But Titan does hold on. It looks very unlikely that we're going to get the goal we're searching for here. But we do try and Meyer here who finds how this Benedict Tower this. Unfortunately, he is saved here, but from a resulting corner now, this is probably last chance saloon. Ball comes in, finds Matip with the header. Wow, the big players show up on the big occasions for us there, and he may just be the difference of us getting the one point or the three points. What a header from Joel Matip to get us to break the deadlock and get us the lead here. Look at that header. No goalkeeper probably would have saved that. Maybe Manuel Neuer at a push. But his first goal of the Bundesliga for Joel Matip. Congratulations to him. Obviously coming off the back of the news that he did sign the fresh contract with us. Which is good to see that he's committing his future to the club. Game would finish 1-0 though to us. Three major points. I think looking at their match stats. No one could deny that we don't deserve the points. But guys. For any reminder. If we can hit over 15 likes on this video. It would mean the world to me. It really does help the channel grow. And it only takes a couple seconds out of your day. Farnham, man of the match, incredible goalkeeper for us, he really has, he's been impressing me very much this season, but as you can see here, Emre Chan does have a word in that ear about his role at the club, he's not happy, he wants more game time uh, in a nutshell, and Junior Kakara is happy with game time that he's getting, and he will be getting a lot more game time, obviously due to the unfortunate injury to Kenny Tete, if you did miss that, make sure you go check it out last episode, um, it was very bad, but as you can see here, we do qualify in our Euro League group top, off this 3-1 win against AZ. Belanda with two. Emre Chan with the other goal. 3-1. And Emre Chan obviously wanted more game time. He's proved it there with a goal. So congratulations to him. Very pleased on with it for him for that occasion. We do get 360 grand for advancing through the group stages. Which is good to see. As we get ready for a game coming up against Hamburg I do believe. We do have Werner, Brandt, Sané, Vigel and Johannes Geis all on training. And all of them looking like very, very solid players going into this back end of the season. But we did beat Hamburg 2-0. Two goals was coming from Hoger. So congratulations to him. Putting in the great shift for us. So I'm happy about that. And as you can see here, Leroy Sané does say, can we discuss wages? And the Benedict Helders 
it says he can do a better job in the next game. So I have to see what happens there. Will Benedict hold a start? And we do look to offer Leroy Sané a new contract. Up from 25 grand a week to 60 grand. He's well worth it, in all honesty. He is an awesome talent. He is my future. He's Schalke's future. He can be one of the best players in the world. I believe that. So I will do everything in my power to make sure Leroy Sané start, stays at the club. We get ready for a game against Colombo. Uh, Grzeska, Johannes Geis, Maya, Tor, Sané, Batshuayi attacking mid and midfield. Very good team. As you can see, Colombo are in third position here. A win will put a real pressure on Bayern Munich and us. So we need to make sure we keep him out. Maximilian Maya, obviously the player to watch today. Five goals in 23 appearances. So that's good to see here. As for Cologne, players to watch. I'm going to be honest. No one there really proposes a real threat. The goalkeeper Horn is very good. But other than that, we should be comfortable. As Matip comes so close here. Five minutes in. Off the crossbar tonight. His second goal in back-to-back -back games. But as you can see, Sané gets played in here. Brilliant ball from Batshuayi. Sané should finish that with Forster Meyer with the easiest of finishes to make it 1-0. Just eight minutes into the game. Congratulations to him there. Batshuayi with a fantastic ball. Sané should have finished it. He didn't. He gets left off the hook though with Meyer finding the back of the net there. It is 1-0 to FC Schalke. And that is his sixth goal in the Bundesliga. So congratulations there to Max Meyer. Um... Big player for us. Absolutely massive player. That's his sixth goal of the season, like I said. Well, Matthias gets onto the ball here. Plays it into his man there. Hosinger plays back into Matthias. Back into Hosinger. Gets his shot away, but Matip does uh, usher him out of play there. Great defending from him as Tor plays in Batshuayi. Batshuayi turns his man, shoots. Unfortunately, just wide of the mark. And what nothing about Gorkan Tor. He hasn't really impressed me since joining the club here. So we could be looking for him to be moved on after a short stay at the club um, in the summer. So... That's very poor from Gorgonzola. Not really seeing to do much as opposed to Libre Sané who goes through on goal here and does get the second of the game. Great play. Look at this. Goes through the gap. It's a great run from him and that's an even better finish. Right, puts it onto his stronger foot and just curls it around the goalkeeper with a beautiful finesse. Five goal in the Bundesliga now for Libre Sané. The boy has been on incredible form uh, the whole this season. You know, pretty much since pre-season we knew he was going to be. A special player, so I'm very happy for him there. Savento gets a real opportunity here, but Farnham does see that at. Going to half time here, Cologne have dominated on possession, uh, there's no denying that, but shots wise, we've blown them out of the park. That one shot for them come at the end of the half, which we saw for Ease. But Tour gets onto the ball here, speak of the devil, it does find Johannes Geist, but Horn does pounce on that loose ball there. You can't be having that as a goalkeeper. As the corner comes in here for Johannes Geist, Horn again gets it clear. Great goalkeeper from him in this second half as Tor tries to make something work here. Cuts back inside. Does find Kakara. What can Kakara do? Great bit of play there as he tries to make something work. He does actually get blocked but somehow comes back out with the ball. It's Kakara with the shot. Horn holds on with ease from that tame effort from the right back on that occasion. We come forward though yet again and Leroy Sané cuts inside of the bodies here. Leroy Sané just wide of the mark unfortunately on that occasion. As you can see, though, we do bring on Franco De Santo, Emre Chan, and I do believe Timo Werner does make his way onto the pitch as Leon Grosetz gets onto the ball. Actually, it was Julian Brandt. Julian Brandt does fantastic here, crosses it into the box, finds the Emre Chan, but unfortunately just wide. Well, actually, straight into the goalkeeper's hand, shall I say. Emre Chan, though, does actually fire De Santo, plays it into the oncoming lever as Sane, through on goal here. Sane shoots, falls to Emre Chan with the header. What a save from the goalkeeper there. Denying Emre Chan a goal. As you can see, the game will come to an end. Again, it's another three points for us. We're over the moon with that because it is a perfect result. I'm happy. I'm very happy with the squad and how they're playing so far this season. It has been an incredible performance. As you can see here, 2-0, the final score. The team have just been brilliant. I've been over the moon with them. And it looks like this is our league title to lose now. So congratulations to the FC Schalke boys. Sané, if it weren't that in anyone's mind, man of the match, he was here then everywhere, causing all the trouble for Cologne. I'm going to leave you guys looking at our squad report. If you did enjoy the episode, as always, today, make sure you do hit that like button. Like I said, it only takes a couple of seconds out of your day, and I would very, very much appreciate it. If you are new around here, you haven't already, hit that subscribe button too, guys. It would mean the world to me. Also, it helps the channel grow, and you never miss a video from me ever again. As always, I hope you have a really nice day. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.